Okay, fifth graders, 14-4, and this is page uh, 578. Okay, it says uh, in 1705, a ship sank in the ocean at the point shown. Okay, Every year, the ocean currents move the ship one mile east and two miles north. It says, where was the ship located after four years? Where was the ship located after 10 years? And tell how you decided. So, you know, this is a typical beginning of each section where they give an example of what the, uh, what the section is going to be about. And we can drop down to, to see here and you can see what, what they've done. Um, after four years, the ship was at 814. And uh, here's 14, 814 right there. Um, and uh, it says, tell you how, how you decided. So what's their answer here? I'll use a graph to show the location. Um, each year after four years, each point is one mile east and two miles north from the previous point. It says, I see a pattern. The x-coordinate increases by one. This is very similar to an answer you're going to give um, in a few minutes here. To another question and the y coordinate increases by two so sometimes the x coordinate might increase by two and maybe the y coordinate will increase by three or maybe the x coordinate will increase by maybe five and the y coordinate might increase by one i mean it just depends on on what we're graphing and what the question is but you can see it's all on a line you can draw a straight line through all the points okay so uh it says please convince me um and i'm not worried about that so let me see here let's get my line you can draw a line through that so let's go down to the guided practice here the next page let's look at the first question okay first question it says uh Tanya marked a grid in her garden. She planted a rose bush at 3 1. She moved two feet east and one foot north. Here's east. That's going to be two each time. And here's north. And what did it say? Uh, and one foot. It's going to be one each time. Uh, one foot north. And the, she moved two feet east and one foot north and planted the second rose bush. She continued planting the rose bushes so that each bush was two feet east and one foot north of the previous bush. And then it says, how can you, how can a coordinate grid help you reason about the problem? Well, there's more than one way to answer this. Uh, one thing you could say is that um, uh, you can plot the points. On a grid. Um, to show the locations all right then it says draw and label the locations of the first four the first four bushes on the grid and do tanya's bushes lie in a straight line and how do you know all right well let's plot them all right so the first one was at three one all right so i'm going to go to three so this would be one, this would, two is obvious there, this would be three, so three, one. So that would be right here, all right? And each point after that, it's gonna be two feet east and one foot north. So it would look like this, I'm gonna go over two and up one, over two and up one, over two and up one. Each time, that's what it's gonna look like, okay? So I'm going to go over two and up one. I'm going to go over two and up one. I'm going to go over two and up one. That's the first four uh, bushes, rose bushes. 
And then it says, do Tanya's bushes lie on a straight line? Well, one way to determine that is to um, draw a line, draw a straight line. And uh, let's see if I can do that. I'm going to start here and draw a line. And it sure looks like I can draw one right through all those bushes. So the answer to that first question, um, do the bushes line a straight line? Yes. Whoops. Got to take it off my line. Yes. Okay. And how do you know? Um, <laughs> well, uh, because I can draw a straight line through them. Or more specifically, through all the dots. And then it says, what are the locations of the fifth and ninth rose bush okay so the fifth one that's going to be the very next one over two and up one what's that location it's going to be it looks like 11 and 5 so i'm going to put down 11 comma 5 and then the ninth rose bush whoops the ninth rose bush oh did i just end my video i hope not Nope, it's still going. Let me move this back up. So the ninth rose bush. So we've done the fifth. There's the location of the fifth one. So you're going to have to go six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll let you figure that one out. I'm going to put this here and let you do that one on your own. Okay. Uh, let's see, independent practice here. It says a marching band uses a grid to determine this mem the member's positions. Juan starts at 2-2. Every 15 seconds, he moves 4 yards east and 3 yards north. Um, how can you model this problem? Well, how could you model this problem? Uh, draw it on a grid. Okay, and um, then it says draw and label the locations of Juan's first four positions. Do the points form a pattern? How can you tell? All right, so let's draw the points. I'll, uh, I'll use green this time for the points. So where's the first point? Uh, he starts at 2-2. Two, two. Okay, so 2-2, two, two, there's the first point. All right, and then every 15 seconds he moves four yards east and three yards north. All right, so I'm gonna go four east, one, two, three, four. Uh, east and then three north, one, two, three. Did I do that right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yes, I did. All right, let's do the next one. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three. There's the next one. Whoops. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. That one's kind of fat, but that's all right. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. All right, there's my points. Do these points form a pattern? Yes. How can you tell? Well, I'm going to let you answer that one. How can you tell? That's similar to a question somebody asked us uh, a couple minutes ago. Okay. Um, last one, problem solving, performance task. A toy company is testing Rozo Robot. Rozo is, is 18 inches tall and weighs 2 pounds. Okay. The employees of the company marked a grid on the floor and set Rozo at 2-5. They programmed 
Rozo to walk three yards east and four yards north each minute. What will Rozo's location be after seven minutes? Yeah, you guys could do that. Do you need all the information given in the problem to solve the problem? Uh, no. There's definitely some information we don't need. Describe any information that's not needed. Describe any information that's not needed. Well, uh, I don't really care how tall he is, and I don't care how much he weighs. So that's information that's not needed. And you can write that down in number seven there. Uh, label the graph and plot his starting position, then plot um, his position at the end of the first four minutes. Okay, you guys could do that. What tool would you use for drawing a line segment between the points on the coordinate grid? Well, what tool do you think you would use? We we answered this question, I think, in a couple lessons ago. You know, any kind of ruler or straight edge. Um, explain your thinking. Well, explain your thinking. Um, <laughs> some of these questions are, are silly. Uh, <laughs> Because a ruler or a straight edge would help me draw a straight line. And Mr. Glazer wouldn't mark me down for drawing a line that looks like that. <laughs> no. Okay, don't write that. Explain your thinking. Um, let's see. Uh, what tool would you use for drawing a line segment between the points on the coordinate grid? Okay. Um, I, I would just put... Uh, uh, a straight edge would help me see if I can draw a line through each of the points. A straight line. I, I don't know else what, they're, they, what else they'd be looking for. So, um, And the last two questions here. Describe the relationships between the coordinates of the points that represent the locations. Okay, so here's... When they're talking about a relationship... Um, here, let me change that here. Um, each time X is moving and you can finish that and each time I forgot the right time sorry it's sloppy writing here I'm not on my desk I'm doing this in my lap each time Y is moving Okay, and you can finish that. And then it says, finally, number 11, what will Rosa's location be after seven minutes? Explain how you determined your answer. Well, explain how you determined your answer. You graphed it. That's that's one way. But then definitely answer the question, what was what is his location after seven minutes? Okay, that's it. For four, no, 14, four. And... Uh, I'll upload this tomorrow morning before I meet with you guys at uh, 9 o'clock. And that's it.